Good Friday night, everybody. From downtown Lenore, North Carolina, we're staying local again this weekend. So uh, we decided to go out a place tonight that we went two years ago. We've been here for lunch one time. We're right downtown, and as you can see, that building behind is an old building, and we're gonna be going to the 1841 Cafe right here in Lenore, North Carolina. Now, they are known for their burgers, but they have a wide variety on the menu. So we're gonna go back over there. We really liked it two years ago. We Your did. cousin was down from Minnesota, yeah, and we went. So we're gonna go back over there tonight. This is our first visit back. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go back over there tonight. I don't really feel like a burger myself, so I'm probably gonna uh, try something new, but I don't know what you're gonna get. I don't know yet. Anyway, we're gonna go to 1841 Cafe, so go with us. Eighteen Forty One Cafe is located at 117 Main Street here in Lenore, North Carolina. And as you can see, they have a really nice little outside eating area right out front here with the little thatched umbrellas. So we're going to go inside and show you that. Now, Shaughnessy just pointed out something to me. This used to be the Bernhardt Siegel Hardware and Furniture Company. I actually remember going in there many, many years ago. So this was actually once the hardware store. So here's the inside. You can see they got old 33 records on the wall there. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So we're standing in line now waiting for a seat. So it's got kind of a vintage look to it right here. It's like a little private room right here, I guess. So I'm just going to walk through here really quickly. And right here we got an old telephone on the wall so I want to feature the story now of why this is called 1841 cafe actually 1841 was the year that um, Caldwell County which we are in which we live in was established so here's the story and there are the hours at the bottom it says here that 1841 cafe specialty dishes are derived from and attributed to the people and places related to historic Caldwell County okay so right now we would like to show you the menu
and the outside dining area is pet friendly. He's not our dog, but he looks friendly enough. Now I want to draw your attention to the Walker Stadium classic. Um, a lot of the menu items on here, not all, but many of them are named after um, places here in Lenore. Walker Stadium is no exception. It's just literally, what, 500 yards from here probably. Yeah, not far. Um, for all of you baseball history buffs, uh, Verlin Rube Walker, he was known as Rube Walker, played Major League Baseball. Uh, he's from here in Lenore. If you remember, and I think it was 1951, I want to say, may have been 55, but Bobby Thompson of the New York Giants hit a home run that was called the shot heard around the world. Look this up. It sent the Giants to the World Series over the Dodgers, and when Bobby Thompson comes around and crosses home plate, you can see Berlin Walker, or Rube Walker as he was called, standing there with his arms, or with his hands on his hips. He was the hind catcher for the Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers lost that game. The Giants went to the World Series. But um, he was from right here in Lenore, and that's who the stadium is named after. Okay, so we just placed our order. Now, I already had in mind what I was going to get from the online menu, but uh, the lady was telling us that that was the pre-COVID menu. They mm -hmm. have never updated their website in a few years now, evidently. So what I was going to get was the shrimp and grits because it sounded really good, but that's no longer available. So I went with the eight ounce Angus hamburger steak tonight. I, just, I know I said I didn't feel like a burger and I don't really feel like a bun and all that. So I'm just gonna get the hamburger steak with mushrooms and, and A1 mashed potatoes as a side. So I got, some, it's called the staircase. I don't know what that has to do with locally. Maybe staircase in the building, I don't know. But it's grilled chicken um, stuffed with artichokes with a tomato cream sauce, I think, and okra. Okay. Sounds interesting. They actually had one stuffed portobello mushrooms. I looked that at that and thought about really getting good. that. Yeah, that sounded good too. But I thought, yeah. I want some chicken. See, it said something about it, it was stuffed with artichokes. I don't know if I like artichokes. I don't. Well, know. it's gonna be in mine. You can try some. Of mine. I like uh, them. I don't know the last time I've tried an artichoke. It's kind of like you. a palm. Like if you eat palm tree, the heart of palm. I like the hearts of palm. It's, the, it's the marinated sim ones, but yeah. simple, similar to that. Okay. But anyway, this is just a neat little place. Again, just a just like last Friday night, perfect evening. Yeah. Perfect temperature mm -hmm. to be sitting outside. Uh, what time is it? It's probably about seven o'clock. Six forty-two. Six forty-two. Um, slight breeze, just perfect temperature. Yeah, it's nice. So that's why we wanted to sit outside. Hopefully, we'll have another good experience. I know the burgers here are really good. Yeah. That's that is what I got before. Mm -hmm. Just didn't want a burger tonight, really. But um. We'll show you the food when it comes out. Okay, so as you can tell, we have moved tables. We were at the table behind. Which was a, like a high top. a high table. top round table, but we wanted to be under the umbrella, so. And our feet are on the ground. Yes, our feet are on the ground. So I just, I like the umbrella. So anyway, we're at a different table now. She um, was telling us that they have a full house inside here and they've only got two waitresses tonight. So yeah. they are busy. They are busy. It took us, what, about eight, ten minutes after our drink order to get the drinks. Yeah, so I don't know if they're short snack, but that's how We're not in any is. hurry. No, we're not. Okay, so here's my hamburger steak, eight ounce Angus um, mashed potatoes and A1. And what did you get again? It's chicken with stuffed um, artichoke with a tomato cream sauce in there and okra. Okay. We're going to try it out here. You're going to have to twist it and it comes out at the bottom. Oh, okay. I feel like a lot of places are going to those now. Mm -hmm. Okra's really good. How's the okra? Very good. Where's your microphone? Okay, as long as they can hear you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's good. I'm not a fan of these twist things. It seems like a lot of restaurants are going to them now. But, um, all right, so let's see how these mashed potatoes are. They're, I was kind of thinking they might be on the side with the food. Because uh, when I eat hamburger steak, I like to put the mashed potatoes in it and mix it together. So I'm going to take these out of the bowl. So I'm going to open up my chicken breast here so you can see the spinach and the avocado. And actually, the tomato cream sauce is on the side. Show that up close again if you can. Just kind of. Mashed potatoes are good and creamy. I like them. Um, 
Here, I'll show the feeling, as you can see. And my meal is a smaller portion tonight, but I did that on purpose because uh, cutting back. So let's try that hamburger steak out. That's very good. I like it. Um, let me try it mixed with the mashed potatoes. The mushrooms really make it good too. Very good. Yes, it is. So mine is Favorable very good. Impression. Very good. The chicken's nice and tender. That tomato cream sauce is very good. So I think this is going to be a very good meal. Okay, and here is our receipt tonight. And we did get $10 off of our meal from a local coupon book that a student in the school sold to us. So we have a lot of those yet to use. We've used a few of them, but... Yeah, and I just now noticed that they have a cash and a non-cash, and we didn't have cash. Mm. Yeah, that's something we're running into a lot. Mm-hmm. But we did get the $10 off. Yeah. Okay, just finished up at 1841 Cafe at 117 Main Street, downtown Lenora, North Carolina, just up the road from our house. So our second visit here, uh, interestingly enough, we um, got the same waitress we had on our other visit here two years ago. We were here in March, I believe, of uh, 2022, mm -hmm. and um, your cousin had come down from Minnesota, uh, actually, to visit your mom in, when she was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So that's why we came up here for lunch and um, had the same server tonight as we had then. Her name's Mackenzie. She took really good care of us tonight. Mm -hmm. and to be as full as they were and only have two servers, uh, they did a pretty good job. They did so, good. We really didn't have to wait long for our food. No, no, we really didn't. Mm -hmm. So we waited a little bit for the drinks initially, for the drink order, and then for the drinks. But yeah, once we got that, everything was fine. Yeah. Uh, so um, I want you to start off tonight, tell what you got. So I think it was called the staircase. It was chicken breast basically cut in the middle and they put some type of um, creamy stuff, artichoke and spinach, really good. Um, chicken was really good too, it was tender. Then you had a tomato cream <coughs> sauce on the side to dip it in, very good. The okra was really good. It was it was very tasty. Um, had a good meal. I thought it was great. And uh, I like sitting outside, like you were saying earlier. Temperature is about perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, good night, good food. Would you come back again? I would. Okay, mm -hmm. sure we will. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, our waitress told us she says try not to, or try not to take so long to come back yeah. this time. Yeah. So uh, we'll have to keep that in mind because they do have some really good burgers here too. Mm -hmm. Um, so I had looked online today earlier and decided what I was going to get and that was actually a shrimp and grits that they used to have and it sounded really good because it said it was in a Creole sauce. So I got here tonight and the menu did not have it on there. She explained that that was the pre-COVID menu. So if I do would like to say something um, in case the management sees this, how about updating your online menu? A couple of years is plenty of time, don't you think? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, people look at online menus to kind of get an idea and when they come here and your menu's totally different. That's then they have to kind of start from Price scratch. Is different out. too. Well, yeah. I mean, and that, yeah. that's but I do think thing. an online menu needs to be kept up to date, yeah. price wise too, because there's been times we've looked at a restaurant and said, okay, that seems pretty reasonable when you go and everything's a lot higher. Uh, online menus got to be kept up to date. So mm -hmm. uh, I got the eight ounce hamburger steak, the Angus, uh, got mushrooms on it for an extra dollar charge. Um, and I also got mashed potatoes. That's what I would always get with hamburger steak. Uh, really good. The mashed potatoes were definitely homemade. They uh, had some sk potato skins in them and a couple of clumps. So you know they were homemade. But they were also really good and creamy. Um, I just like to mix hamburger steak, mushrooms, and mashed potatoes all together and go at it. And that's what I did. Um, I did get a smaller portion meal tonight, but I knew it would be. So I'm, I was okay with that. Uh, that's actually, I did that by design. So. Um, the meal's really good. Enjoyed it. Uh, we'll definitely come again. I mm -hmm. uh, will probably try one of their burgers when I come back again. I got the mushroom burger the first time. I remember really liking that. I wish I could remember what I got the first time, but I remember it being really good. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't remember either. I thought somebody in our party got chicken tenders, but I could be I wrong think about that. Amy both got a, a burger of some okay. kind. Uh, could be. But anyway, uh, that was our experience tonight. It was a good one. So we're going to head on now and. Uh, Thank you all for watching, and if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, and find and follow us on Facebook. All right, have a blessed evening.